Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Reaper. Welcome back to Pax Day Quick Tips. And this is going to be my second video on structural integrity, and this is going to be a better explanation of it. Um, so I've done a little bit of playing around with it, so let's look at a few things, all right? For starters, you, depending on the material, a lighter material will not support a heavier material. So we have stone, then we have the cottage wall and wood and so forth. But like a good example here would be this stone wall cannot be placed up here. If I do, it will disappear. Give it a second. I promise. There we go. Now, the reason being is this is basically wood. The cottage wood, the cottage wall cannot support stone. Now, this one can. It's yellow, but this one can be up there because... Not because this can support it, but because it is connected to this at the corner. Right there, where my little piece is. And that is essentially what I'm figuring out. Okay, so... Here's the thing. These are... Stone pillars. Or, or rather, yes, they're stone, I'm sorry, they're small stone foundations, okay? They tend to work better than the stone pillars. Now, the way it works is any piece that is directly connected to a wall, a, a stone wall, we're going to, we're going to focus on stone here. Any piece connected to a stone wall will have the full green structural integrity. Okay? So you'll see that's green, 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 green. These are all green and so on. And that's because they're all connected to these. All right? Right there, that one's connected via that little corner right there. You know what I mean? Like right above my head there. Right, follow the little yellow egg right there. All right. This one is yellow because it is connected to a green, but not connected to a wall. So it's yellow. Now, you, it will maintain support, but it's yellow because it's not full support. Now, if we try to connect another ceiling here, let's go up top and do this. Um... Now, you'll see I have these right there, okay? Now, we go up here, and if we were to try to put this here, we're going to get... Building in this game is great. It's just a little finicky um, at times, which can be a little bit annoying, I will admit. Um, so, we put that there. As you can see, it's green, and that's because it is connected to these. It's touching, okay, right here. So you get full support. Now, if we were to put this here, we're gonna have yellow because it's connected. It's connected to a green, that is connected to a, a full foundation or full support foundation. Okay. So we remove that. But now, if we try to put this out here, again finicky. Right there, this one's yellow. Okay, not full structural integrity. So if we were to put this here, it will fall in a second. The so red is bad. And that's pretty much it. Essentially, which I honestly think it should be out more, to be in my opinion. I just feel like we should be able to go out, like, double it. Like, we should be able to... This one should still be green, and then one, and then out one more should be... That was where we should kick red. Or, I'm sorry. This should be green. If it's connected to green, like, we should have... You know what I mean? Like, it shouldn't have to be directly connected to stone foundations or the full support to be green. We should have that. It should be two out. 
and then be, and still maintain green, and then have yellow instead of red, and then have red be three out. Like, I think it should be extended in that sense. You know what I mean? And the reason I feel like that is, is to maintain, like, full green, you would need quite a few walls inside your build or the these the, the short stone foundations stone pillars do not really work this they don't work as well like if i were to remove this okay like i said we're we're, we're going red there that i knew that was yeah they were going to disappear 100 percent so because they're red that one is going to too give it a second at least i thought it would it is connect i don't know why that one's staying but it is red which is odd again early access i this isn't me bitching on the game this is just me trying to figure stuff out. But anyway, like that's red. We have yellow, 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 because they're not touching the stone wall. But again, super finicky. Um, now if we go there, we get light green, but we don't get full green. Okay. We do not get the full green that you get from stone walls and the short pillar found or the short stone foundations. We get light green. Okay. Um, so again, if we put this back, that was light green. But if we do this, and you can, if you look up on the right hand side, it says left shift for you know free movement. Or we hold down alt and we can we can raise it okay just so you know i don't know if you knew you could do that but there you go all right so we lower this and we get it right there touching i find it a little confusing that that's great that that right there is full green and it will let me place it which is odd I find that odd Okay, and it didn't work. So it was showing full green, but it wouldn't, but like it wouldn't stay. I don't know, a little bit. Again, it's early access. They're still working on things. And I'm patient and love the game. But anyway, so as you can see, we had light green there, but if we go like this, now this gets a little finicky again because we have to raise this. I mean, we kind of have to shove it in here. Like that, okay. Now, then we can raise it. Now, if you're raising it, you can tell where it's, that it's flush by either looking at it or you can see it's yellow there. If I lower it down a little bit and then place it, it ends up being flush. But you'll notice we have full green now. And that's giving us full foundation, full support. So I think that the stone pillars should, they should act in the same manner as these. Um, these don't look bad to be used inside. So, and you'll notice that's yellow. It's not touching, but these are green because they're touching. Y you're picking up on a land down. So anyway, that is definitely a better explanation of how structural integrity works. Um, from what I can tell, these really don't, they have no, they have no support. Like, that I can tell, like that's yellow. I mean, let's just look at it here. So if I put it there, I don't think that'll change the green. I could be wrong because I haven't really played with it too much. All right, it did go light green. So you do get you get very little support from the others from the the wood beams. 
you get some. So yeah, we're back to yellow. So it just depends on what you're using. Like, and this essentially is wood supporting, which is basically wood. The ceilings are wood, so they're wood. Well, they're floors, but they're ceilings. Um, you know what I mean? And there are no, at least I don't have them unlocked yet. There are no stone ceilings. So like I said, obvious, and it's sort of, it's sort of, real, it's sort of realistic. Like you're not gonna expect wood to be fully supported by stone. Unless it's like a lot of strong wood, you know what I mean? So that's why I can't be putting walls on top of this, heavy stone walls on top of these. It just doesn't make sense. But then again, you know, it's still, it's still, like I said, a little bit to the point of, I feel like they should give us a little more leeway and probably will in the future. Again, early access, I love this game. Truly, truly love this game. It's gorgeous. There's tons coming. And I am super excited. And I'm having a blast. I don't mind the grind. I've said that a hundred times. In fact, I find it cathartic. I believe it be the proper termination. Um, yeah. I do. I enjoy it. Like, I built these. Like, these are... I'm building a storage system here slide them under and it is nice because you can you know you have like right here you know if i want to place i can move this okay i can bring it up and down you know but if i hold down left shift it lets me unsnap like i have full free movement then i can actually slide it through it if i wanted to you know what i mean like it'll snap here but if I hold down left ship, I can, it, it frees that up. It releases the snap. And I can just snap it right through. And there you go. So it, it definitely allows for a lot of creativity in builds. Which is really nice. So there you go. Um, I hope that was explained a little better than my previous video, which did really well. Thank you very much. Um, had a lot of positive feedback. And uh, I did promise that I would dive into it a little deeper. And I'm going to continue looking at building and structural integrity and how it all works. But this one's a little bit more in-depth. So hopefully it helps a little bit better. It even helped me when I started playing around with it. So thank you very much for the support on PAX Day. And I'm having a blast. And with the... Uh, I'll keep the quick tips coming the best I can when I see something or have, you know, something going on. And uh, also the, uh, this playthrough series is definitely still running. So I will see you in either one of those. And uh, thank you so much. And you know what to do. Please like, comment, subscribe. Gotta say it because it helps my channel so very, very much. I'm in this for two reasons. I've never bullshitted anybody. I love my channel because I enjoy making content. I love video games. I love gaming. And I truly, truly enjoy talking to everybody in my community and interacting. And I've learned so much from everybody. I get I get tips. I get, you know what I mean? It's a two-way street. And I love every single one of you. And also, I would, you know, I, I make very little money off the channel. And like, really, very little. Um... And I do, I, you know, I'd love to be able to do this for a living. I have an actual, I have another job, you know, so. Um, but yeah, I do enjoy it and uh, I love it. And I'm going to keep doing it. I don't, you know, whether I'm making money or not, I'm going to keep putting videos out there and keep doing what I do. And I keep saying this, uh, eventually I am going to start streaming more. I have streamed a little bit. And eventually I, I do have couple of pretty decent cameras so and i do want you guys to see my ugly mug just because you know <laughs> i don't know face cam can be interesting you know i do want to start streaming with a face cam it, it presents more of a personal connection so a lot, lot coming um but yeah thank you so much and i will see you in the next one i appreciate you listening to me rant take care